Alright, this is finally the beginning of my series of videos on Fregas, the Grun Logging, or the Foundations of Arithmetic. Um, so, pretty recently, not maybe like last month or the, or the month before, I did three videos on Fregas, the Griff Shrift, which is just like his conceptual no notation, which he created for the, for the purpose of having gapless proofs. That was why he made that, and... Um, I think it was just really awesome, so I did a few videos on that, and this is kind of what is sometimes thought of as the philosophical, um, I guess, uh, thing that can be can be coupled coupled with that. Uh, this is the the grid login, and it's basically a my notes. It's basically a book which discusses number. That's just like it's foundations of, of arithmetic in that, it, in that it discusses number. Um, Frege, you know, is one of the first analytic philosophers, and he basically he discusses number here in the desire to prove things out in a good way and to have gapless proofs. You know, that's kind of one thing he wanted to prove out at, uh, axioms and things that weren't quite Things that were um, taken for granted then are not so much are not so much now. Kind of like Euclid's postulates. Four, the four of them are still you know pretty much granted, and they have been proven out pretty well. But the fifth one hasn't really been um, the uh, parallel postulate, which um, you know you could discuss that. And that's I do have a video on that somewhere on my channel where because of that. Because of how long it's kind of well, it's longer than the than the rest from the uh, parallel postulate is, and that is why we have, there has been led to other other geometries besides besides Euclid's. Um, in fact, three D and two D different d different geometries from Euclid's. So, and this is also a lot of what a lot of what is in here has is. The theory of the philosophy of mathematics, which is called lo logicism. Philosophy of mathematics is is in general philosophy about what number is and what arithmetic is, and um, and uh, pretty much logicism is the thesis that mathematics is reducible to logic, or mathematics is, is reducible to logic and set theory. Sometimes set theory is added on because it's sometimes thought that logic itself is not is not is not enough to prove that that point. So in this I want to kind of discuss the I guess what he calls the uh analysis of the contents or or what he calls it it's kind of like um it's just like a, the intro to this part. Um like I want to discuss these four little ones, um, and I'm gonna go section, I guess, part by part. I'll do the video on this, and then on this, and this, and I'll kind of just go from there. Um, but I just kind of want to want to talk about the first four sections and talk about what this book is going to be as a whole. Um, so it's about what number is, of course. Um, and it's, like I said, it's about proving out axioms and having gapless proofs within arithmetic and logic. Um, and he, he had his own way that, um, he had, had his own way of how, he kind of showing how that mathematics is, is reducible to logic. And uh, Bertrand Russell Send him letters in a in a correspondence, kind of calling him out on how his on some of his issues and Russell and Whitehead had their own system and um, Hilbert Hilbert had his and then finally Girdle came along and ruined everybody's popped he popped everyone's balloons. Um, so the whole thing is that we need to better define things and we need to better prove things. Now. Willard Willard Van Orman Van Orman Klein in his in his article Epistemology Naturalized 
talks about the conceptual project. And I, I just filmed the video last week about on that on that article. He talks about the conceptual project, which is about clarifying meanings of things and figure out what 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 we mean when we say things, and creating explanations for things. And the doctrinal project is proving things and, and about truths. So Frege is saying here that it's not only about better defining things and figuring out what stuff means, but it's also to better prove things and to figure out what truths are and not only to, uh, to um, identify truths, but to show how truths are Inter, how how they are interdependent between one another. Um, so <clears throat> he he questions what I guess what a arithmetical truth is. Is it a priori or is it a posteriori? Is it analytic or is it synthetic? Kant, in his critique of pure reason, said that it was synthetic a priori. I have some some videos on that on that as well. Um, I once took a philosophy of mathematics class, but I'm, I just took this semester, which I'm just, getting, I'm just getting done with, where we went through this whole book, and we went through the Tractatus, which I'm going to be doing videos on, and we also went through the Investigations, which I will also be doing videos on in, in, the, in the future. Um, so, that's kind of what the whole thing is, what is going on here and who we have issues like the next video I want to do I'm going to do on this book is his discussion as to whether numerical formula is provable or not um, he pretty much bashes Mill uh, J.S. Mill a lot because Mill thought that mathematics was a inductive thing and that it's mo mostly by ob um, observation Leibniz had a similar thing going on but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in the next video um, so he, he talks about as whether as whether number is something subjective, and um, what is one, what is infinity, um, you know stuff like that. Let's see what else here. The concept, of, the concept of uh, the concept of number as in itself, stuff like that. And um, I'm gonna get pretty deep into this, so. Um, if you would like, um, wait for these, and I will have them out part part by part. Really, parts one, or I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll figure out how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do this. But that's I'm gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get real into this book. That's that, that, that's for very well sure.